A traffic alert that has many of you expressing your concerns. The state will close a 32 mile stretch of I-70 next month. This is for the removal of a bridge in Trigo County. Yeah, thousands of cars use it every day. 12 News reporter Gabriella Hernandez in Sheridan County for us tonight where the detour is forcing one town there to even close schools. This small two lane highway is where thousands of cars that drive I-70 daily will be diverted, taking all that traffic through some small Kansas towns. Something the Sheridan County Sheriff says could be disastrous if not handled correctly. You get that influx from interstate, it, it's a recipe for disaster. Sheriff Brandon Carver says Sheridan and Gove County objected the detour because of the multiple safety hazards along K-23. Anybody that's familiar with K-23 Highway knows there is no shoulders. Uh, little margin for errors, uh, if any here. We got lots of hills, um, no passing zones and stuff such as that. Myself and uh, Gove County Sheriff, Sheriff Mesh had great concerns due to the, the narrow highway. Even prompting the Hoxie School District to close for the day, and many of you to express concerns as well. The detour is gonna be going right down our main business district. Uh, kind of incapacitating local businesses. Also, you got the concerns of pedestrians that uh, may need to cross the street, how that's going to affect that. Very worrisome. That day is coming, though. September 4th, I-70 will close at 4 in the morning and be shut down for 24 hours to remove a bridge in Trigo County. The state is removing that bridge for safety reasons after it was struck multiple times by oversized loads. In Sheridan County, Gabriela Hernandez, 12 News. In September 4th for that day, I-70 closure will be one day. It will close westbound lanes from Collier to Joaquini and then eastbound lanes from Greenfield to Voter Road.